Kia ora te whanau, no mai, hoki mai. Now, everybody gets scammed in crypto, and if you haven't been scammed, uh, you're probably going to be. <laughs> Unless you uh, put in place a few uh, very important measures. So, I'm going to show you what I do to not get scammed. Uh, now, I can still let my guard down, and there's been some times just recently that I nearly got caught, but luckily I had things in place that uh, helped protect me. So, I just want to show you a few of those things. One of the biggest problems is that if you're using, for example, Telegram, uh, you know, you can receive messages, you can get added to groups, and you can get scammed that way. You can send a message in a support chat, and then all of a sudden you'll get a message back from uh, what you think is an admin uh, to help you, and then, you know, they ask for your private key, and, you know, you get scammed that way. So I just want to show you how to set up uh, Telegram to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, so on the screen here, uh, you can see I've got Telegram open. Just come up to the hamburger menu uh, and then click on settings. And then come down to privacy and security. And then just come down to where it says uh, groups and channels. And it's got everybody here. You want to change this. Change this to my contacts only. Okay, and save that. And you can also do this with calls as well because quite often what will happen is you, you will actually uh, get a call. Uh, sometimes these, these scammers will actually call you through this, okay? So I tend to just put that on my contacts as well, okay? And also voice messages, uh, put that on my, my contacts as well, just like that. So, I mean, this is what I do, uh, but, you know, this just helps you, it helps protect you because if you can, this is what happened to me recently. I, I was in a group, they were having issues with withdrawals and they hadn't sorted it out. I woke up in the morning, I saw that the group, you know, that there was a, a new post that said, you know, the withdrawal's been sorted out. And I didn't even realize I'd been added to another group that looked exactly the same because they had recently posted. Their group was showing up further on my list. So I just naturally thought it was the same group, right? And that's because I didn't have this turned on, this groups and channels, all right? So you don't want to be added to all these groups because you'll get scammed. So that's what I do for uh, Telegram. Now, one of the other major problems with being scammed is emails that you receive. Okay, and I want to show you uh, just some, th this is just some examples how you can get scammed. This is one from Coinbase. Okay, secure verification request. Okay, proceed to verification. Now, look at this. See the URL there? Cut.ly. All right, it's a short URL link. Come up to the, always do that, roll over and look at the URL. All right. And then always where it's where it's from, always roll over this and just look at that. Michael.hollandhurst.t. I mean this, come on. This is not from Coinbase. All right. This is how this is how you can verify. Never click on these links. Doesn't matter what they say. All right. Always check this first, just by rolling over it, and always roll over the uh, button or whatever they're telling you to click on. So this is Coinbase. This is Coin Market Cap. All right. See this? Claim coupon. Look at this. Giveaway at God knows what address. All right. And if I click on this, look at that. Okay. So look, this has nothing to do with coin market cap. All right. Here's another Coinbase one. Withdrawal restriction alert. Okay. It's the same thing. If you click over that, it's the same one. Another coin market one. Here's a MetaMask one. Okay. Now a lot of people get sucked into this. Come over. Roll over to MetaMask, KYC at activation.com. It's nothing to do with it. And if we come down here and look at this, I mean, look at this, Meta.KYC. <laughs> look, they're trying to make it look legit. It's not, okay? So don't click on any of these. Here's another one, a ticket saying that my KYC, I need verification. Come up here. You can see here, storage station, nothing to do with it. If I click on here, look at that. Here's another one. Airdrops, these are always, they're always, scammers are always trying to play on your emotions. If, if you think you're getting free money, you get clouded and you, your guards come down and you don't check things, all right? So always check. So you can see here, uh, if I click, if I have a look on this, look at that. Who God knows where Halo.Express is, all right? If I roll over the claim, look at that. It's nothing to do with MetaMask, all right? OpenSea, NFT Marketplace, they will send you a, uh, email like this saying, and I nearly got sucked into this, all right, uh, saying that, you know, one of your NFTs is sold for three ETH. Three ETH, wow, wicked. <laughs> View offer, you know, don't. 
look, OpenSea, look at the address, .ru, this is Russian, all right? And then view offer, look at that. It's nothing to do with it. Here's another one. Different looking, but same principle. If we look at that, you know, there's no, it's nothing to, these addresses are nothing to do with OpenSea, okay? Okay, next I want to show you this. Now this is vital because, you know, a lot of people use, uh, you know, cold storage wallets like hardware wallets, but a lot of people use software wallets. Now, the most important thing to remember is you should never, under any circumstances, have large amounts of your crypto stored in hot wallets like MetaMask, all right? Because then you're opening yourself up to get wiped out. So what I do is I have all my, uh, my you know, my larger amounts and everything on my uh, Tangem wallets, all right? Now, if you don't know what Tangem is, check out that video because it is the most secure hardware wallet on planet Earth and it's incredible, right? It's literally foolproof, safe, you know, it's, it's incredible. Anyway, check out that video. Now, what I do is whenever I need, uh, you know, funds in MetaMask, I'll send some from here to MetaMask. Otherwise, I keep literally nothing in MetaMask un unless I need to. And this is the best practice because this will save your ass. But what you can do is, and this is what I do, is I secure my MetaMask as much as possible and, uh, you know, try and secure any transactions that are going to happen by giving me warnings and alerts, okay, when I'm making transactions. And I'm going to show you how this works. So what I do is I use WalletGuard, all right? Now, I made a video there uh, on WalletGuard uh, and check it out. That was actually a while ago and they've made some changes to this now and it's, it's awesome, all right? So it's an extension in your browser, all right? So I'm using Brave, so I'm going to add it to Brave. All right, I'll leave a link in the description for this. All right, and I'm going to add it, and now it's going to come straight to uh, the Wallet Guard dashboard. All right, so they've got Chat Web 3 in here, which is good because you know you can actually ask it about transactions that you're making at the time. All right, and it'll give you general information about it, it will tell you whether or not you know the transaction is, is the contract is verified now. One thing to note is that it will give false positives as well if, for example, the website is very new, all right, and it's only been around for a very short time, it might flag it. Uh, and also, if it's not verified for other certain reasons, it could be, you know, through Google Console or whatever the reason it might be. So you need to research a bit further if you do get flags and you do get warnings. Uh, like even on my website that I've just built, uh, and I've got, you know, minting NFTs and stuff like that. It's showing that my contracts aren't verified where they are on the blockchain. So it's like you've got to, you know, do a little bit of research. But at least this is in place to give you those warnings. Okay, so I'm going to click on continue. And this will just give you some general information. Now to update uh, MetaMask, if you click on this, see this developer mode? Mine's not actually updated because I only just turned this on. But you need developer mode turned on. All right. If you do that, it will actually update. And you can just click click on update here. All right. And that's going to update MetaMask. All right. So well, that'll actually update everything. All right. But that's what I do is I put that developer mode on. All right. So if we come here, now I've just got to sign back in because it's updated it. Okay. Now if we come back to WalletGuard and we just refresh this, hopefully it'll, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay, I'll probably have to control F5 to... Right, anyway, it'll show it. <laughs> it's updated, so we know it's updated. So, everything that you want to know, like alert history, if there's you know issues that happen in here, like you can see here, the MetaMask version that I just showed you. Okay, so anything that happens, uh, you know, you can come down to settings, block recently created sites, all right? So, now this will actually block them, all right? So if you don't want to this to be you just turn this off <laughs> all right uh malicious extension this is a really good one have this turned on transaction simulations you want this turned on because it's going to simulate when you actually make a transaction like when you mint an nft or you got to send money somewhere or you got to connect to a decentralized app which can basically wipe you out all right and withdraw functions they put put these in the code so this will save you all right from from that happening so 
Uh, now let me just show you a uh, example. If we come to my uh, website here, we can actually mint an NFT. And if you don't know about what I'm doing with this, you want to check that video out there. A lot of opportunities. Uh, so right here, I've got it connected. But um, the, for example, I'll just connect wallet here. Okay, I'll come down to MetaMask. So this could be you minting an NFT. This is what I'm actually doing, minting an NFT. All right, continue in MetaMask. Let's pull that up. Uh, it's probably because I've just installed MetaMask, so uh, the update, so it's probably confused. So I'll just refresh that. Connect wallet. Let's see if we can get it this time. Connect. There we go. It's connected. Okay, so watch what happens when I click on Mint. All right. When I click on Mint, it's going to open up Wallet Guard and give you some information. All right. See that? Okay, so it's, it's given me some information. Now, there's no warnings here. All right. Now, if there, there was a problem with this, it would probably give you a warning. Uh, but what you can do is you can come up to Ask Chat Web3 right here. Okay. And then you can say, Explain this transaction. All right. So if you click on this, it's going to go through the transaction, go through all the details, and give it to you right here. So if you see any issues and you're not sure, this is when you need to research a little bit more. All right. So you can see here that it's, uh, you know, the address is not verified. It is verified. Uh, and see here that my Better Humans website, the domain is not verified and it's, it's phishing status is unknown. It's just saying it's unknown. It's not saying that there's an issue. It's just saying that it's unknown. It said this could be a potential risk of the website is malicious. So you, this is where you need to research. Even my website and all my stuff on here, you know, it's giving me this. All right. Now I've talked to them about this and they said that if it's not, you know, a DAP that's uh, OpenSea or MetaMask or something that's verified with them, it will show this. All right. So just make sure. But what will happen uh, regardless, if you, if this transaction if there's going to be a problem in this, uh, it will actually flag it and stop it from happening. You know, if you're if you going to sign messages or anything like that, this will actually stop it. OK, and it has saved me a few times. So I uh, encourage you to install this and get it on your system. All right. Now, what's just happened recently is MetaMask has created what's called snaps, all right, which is just another term for saying uh, there's going to be some developers developing little little dApps, little apps for MetaMask that you can install and, and use them. And some some of them will be paid, some of them will be free. Well, WalletGuard has one. Okay, so if we come up to MetaMask and uh, we click on the three dots, and then we click on Settings, and then we click on Snaps right here. Okay, and then we click on. There's none. I've got none installed right now. We'll click on Learn More. Okay, it's going to take us here give you some information about all the snaps. I'm just going to click on discover snaps. Okay. And you can see if we come down here, here's wallet guard right here. Okay. Some of these, you know, they're going to cost you. you, you there's always going to be free plans, but then you're going to pay if you want to, you know, it's like anything, but wallet guards free at the moment. So click on wallet guard and then you just got to click on add to MetaMask. All right. Connect. Install. Okay. Okay. Come to here. This is going to tell you all about the snaps. All right. You can see down here all the information. Uh, I encourage you to look over this. It's incredible, actually. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're just going to. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this. I'm going to show you again on the site. So I'm going to refresh this. Okay. Then I'm going to click on Mint again. Okay. And then I'm going to continue. On here, okay. So you can see here it's got Wallet Guard. All right. So if there's going to be an issue with anything, it'll notify you in here as well. But if you click on Wallet Guard, loading transactions, it's telling you how much you're sending, you are receiving, and this is the NFT. All right. So everything looks good while I'm doing it on this one. But if there was a problem in it and there was an issue with the transaction, or you know the the the, the actual signing, you had to sign a message and it was uh, rogue, it'll let you know and it'll stop it. All right. So, look, get Wallet Guard, put it as a snap in your MetaMask wallet, uh, and also uh, install it as a browser extension. And you can click on extensions, come down here, click on pin. All right. So it's accessible all the time up here. All right. So it's important 
it's really important. One thing I want to, you know, really emphasize is the fact that you should keep all your, you know, the main, uh, your main portfolio, all your tokens, keep them on a hardware wallet, cold storage, only put in a hot wallet, only put in what you're going to, look, so many people make this mistake. They think, oh, everything's going to be right. Nothing's happened. They put a few thousand dollars in there, then they get fished. All right. Look, so I just wanted to show you a couple of things of what I do. Hopefully that's helped and I'll see you in the next video. Kia kaha.